Okay, one last thing I want to do with this jar of acrylic. A very thin wash with burnt sienna, Liquitex burnt sienna, Liquitex burnt umber, and a good dash of my old Academy Grumbacher acrylics. And I've been preparing canvases. This was one of those canvases that I found was really too light, but I went ahead and I put the second coat on, even though I had a light underpainting to begin with. I wanted to start the painting, and the more I thought about it, less happy I was with the lightness of the sides, which will have to eventually be painted anyhow. That way, whoever buys the picture has the option of framing or not, can just hang on the wall if the sides are nicely finished. And so I'm taking this mixture I'm touching up the sides, which is going to slow me down just a little bit. And my moving it around from one side of the room to the other. This is an this is an underpainting in cold wax, and I will see if I can show you the development of that. Let me finish up the sides here very quickly with this using this inexpensive brush from Home Depot. making the sides a little darker, a little more finished to begin with. Also a cut down on the show of debris paint that somehow overlaps whether you want it to or not. Often that happens. And again, painting here in the sunshine with the shadows of a couple of geraniums that are in the window. Great place to overwinter geraniums here in my studio. Okay, let me see if I've actually covered all the sides. And I think it's time for a coffee break. While this has a little bit, a little, few minutes to dry, I'll touch up the edges just a little bit since that's oil on there. And I don't want to combine oil with acrylic. That is also the Tahoe Four Times Primed canvas that I'm especially partial to. Touching up a little bit of that edge there yet. And the last thing I'll do is I'll just take off a little bit of acrylic that's overlapping the oil. Acrylic does not go on the top of oil. Thanks for watching.